welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. You may have heard architects and engineers refer to a plenum when discussing building construction. A ceiling plenum is a space between the structural ceiling and a drop-down ceiling. It's used in some heating, ventilation, and air conditioning or HVAC systems to return air to an air handling unit. Not only that, it also plays a role in infection control. How? Let me explain. To get the right amount of air into a room, we use supply ductwork. However, many medical office buildings and some older hospitals do not have return ductwork from that room to pull air out and instead use ceiling plenums. A return air plenum takes the air from that room and mixes it above the ceiling with the air being pulled out of all the other rooms on a floor or a wing. Think of the space above the ceiling like the inside of your car. When you turn on max air conditioning, it also turns on the recirculation feature, which means the fan is pulling the cold air from inside your car and recycling it. Similarly, in the building, air is pulled out of all the rooms and into the ceiling plenum, and then back to the air handling unit to be refiltered and distributed back to the rooms in the building. Rest assured, in hospitals, return air plenums are not permitted for high infection control risk spaces, such as negative pressure airborne infection isolation rooms and emergency department waiting rooms. However, return air plenums can raise some infection control concerns in areas where they are permitted, such as in medical office buildings and clinics. Unlike return ductwork that can be cleaned, above ceiling plenums are full of building utilities such as piping, wiring, and non-smooth surfaces, which can prevent cleaning and make it easier for germs to linger. It is difficult, costly, and disruptive to operations to convert existing return air plenums to ducted air returns, so you might have rooms with ceiling plenums in your healthcare facility. It's important for clinical staff to know about the type of room you're working in and the airflow in a room. That's because patients that are suspected of having an airborne illness need to be isolated from other patients in a room that does not share a plenum with other spaces. It is also good to understand if patient care rooms have a return air plenum. If so, other strategies can be used to help clean the air in the space, such as a portable high efficiency particulate air or HEPA machine that filters the air circulating in the room. You can easily check and see if a room you are in has a return plenum by shining a flashlight into the return air grill. If you see ductwork, it is not a return air plenum. However, if you see the floor deck or roof above you, it is a return air plenum. If you do have a plenum, you can find out if it is shared with other rooms by checking with your facility staff or the people who service your HVAC system. If you have questions or concerns about ceiling plenums and infection control, stop by the office in facilities management and I will gladly discuss it with you.